The weight of economic well-being, trust in leadership, and lived experiences bear heavily on the hearts and minds of voters, driving their political choices in today's turbulent times. The shift towards supporting Donald Trump isn't just a political move. It's a cry for help from those who feel left behind, struggling to survive under the current administration's policies. It's a story of empathy, where the public, weary and disillusioned, sees in Trump a glimmer of hope. Someone who promises to restore economic stability and lead with transparency. That Sarcone plans to vote for Trump is a big change. She backed Haley in the caucuses, and when we first met a year ago, I love Ronnie Carmel. Sarcone said she would vote for Biden if 2024 ended up as a 2020 rematch. But grocery prices are still high, she says, and her real estate business is slow. I would describe myself as being resigned, I suppose, to voting for Donald Trump. Um, again, I just I can't vote for the status quo. And I was absolutely better off during Donald Trump's presidency than I am today. Right, I say Kamala Harris, you say? I'd say far left. I'd say woke. Um, I'd say sidestepping. I'd say uh, not truthful. Contrast this with the frustration and confusion sparked by Kamala Harris's comments, which many find vague and lacking substance. Her words, perceived as detached from the reality of everyday struggles, fuel a growing concern about the competence and clarity of leadership in the current administration. For many, her abstract rhetoric seems disconnected from the pressing issues that ordinary Americans face, reinforcing the belief that she is out of touch with their lives. This frustration isn't just about words. It's about a deeper conservative value that demands clear, straightforward communication and practical solutions to the problems that weigh on the hearts of the people.